Hi, this is Mr. Sells, and welcome to my video on how to set up Siri as your voicemail assistant. Well guys, I would first like to talk about how killer this idea really is. I've been using Siri as my voicemail assistant for over 4 years now. People ask me all the time, how was I able to make it work? But today, I will share it with you and the world, here on YouTube. Can you count how many times you had to re-record your voicemail message because you stumbled on the words or forgot to say something? Those days are over. Siri has this problem under control, and she's here to solve it today. Okay, to start off, let's go over things you will need to make this all possible. You will need your iPhone and another iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, preferably a newer model for better sound quality, and running at least iOS 8. Again, that will be only two iDevices to do all this. If need be, I can give you a tutorial on how to make this work on older iOS devices. There's a workaround if you only have your iPhone, just let me know in the comments and I'll put the video together. You will also need a quiet setting for sound quality. Now, using your secondary iOS device, go to your settings app. Again, this is your secondary iOS device, not your iPhone. After you click on settings, then click general. Then click accessibility. Then click speech. Now, turn on speech selection and turn on speak screen. Now, adjust the speaking rate as you see fit. Uh, some people like Siri speaking fast, some people like Siri speaking slower. It all depends on you. Then click voices. Then click English. Now here, uh, this particular part, I chose the female version, but you can also choose the male or the other different voices available. Um, so we'll just go with the English version. Click on Enhance Quality under English US. Wait for the download to finish. Now while it's downloading, you're going to wait for it to download. It's going to take some time. All right, after it finishes downloading, now we have made it past the hard part. Okay, guys. Now go to your notepad on your secondary device for setup and playback. Enter the format of words that I have in the description of the video. You can have Siri say whatever you want, but this is just a quick example for you. Now slide down with two fingers from the top of the screen to the bottom to test the verbiage to make the sure it's the proper adjustment to the volume and speed that you want Siri to read. Now take your iPhone and click on the iPhone app. Again, iPhone app or you can say phone app, however you look at it. Now click voicemail. Now click greeting at the top left corner. Now click custom. Now uh, what you're looking at now will be play and record option which will appear below the custom now ready to record. Now uh, what you want to do is make sure your iPod or iOS device which is your secondary device whatever you chose to use or iPad. Uh, what you want to do now is uh, make sure that you have the, the notepad app already open and the verbiage pulled up. Uh, so now we're at the part where timing is everything. Uh, I'll give you uh, two choices you can try. So right now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit record on your iPhone and simultaneously slide your fingers from the top to bottom on your screen uh, on your iPad. Uh, what that do is it will start making Siri start reading the verbiage. Another way I found to work best is to select text um, that you want to read and then hit record and simultaneously it will speak on your iPad. And what you're doing right now is you're using the iPad to play uh, Siri's voice and using the iPhone to be recorded onto your voicemail. Uh, once you're done recording, hit stop on the recording. And voila, now test the finished product to hit play. Alright, uh, what you're checking for is to make sure uh, you hear everything's clear, uh, the quality of it is clear, and make sure it's uh, hitting the goals for your voicemail. Make sure you put all the correct verbiage in there and make adjustments as needed. Now you're finished. Let's test it out by calling yourself from, uh, let's say, someone else's phone or another phone you have or an uh, internet number. All right, congrats. Siri is now your personal voicemail assistant and should sound something like this. Hi, my name is Siri, Mr. Sales' personal assistant. Is there something I can help you with? Mr. Sales is currently busy. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message and I will notify him when he's free to call you back. If it's really important, please text him. Thank you for calling and have a blessed day. Okay, guys. I hope this video was very helpful in getting a more productive Siri. Please leave your comments below and hit like on my video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to my channel to learn more cool features like this one. Make sure you check out my other videos covering the Apple Watch and buying cars.
As always, this is Mr. Sells telling you to spend your time wisely and your dollar less and have a great day.